guys welcome back to another video our today's question on string is longest palindrome in a string the question states that given a string s find the longest palindromic substring in s so a substring of a string s is such that it is a part of the string s and it is a continuous subsequence and a palindromic string is a string which reads the same as backwards that is for a string s reverse of s is equal to s let's have a look at the example the string here is a a a a b b a a so there are many palindromic substrings in this particular string namely a a a a b b a a and b b so among all these the longest palindromic sub substring is a a b b a a so now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem this problem can be solved using various approaches like manacas algorithm using dynamic programming and in this particular video we will be looking at the third approach where we first find the length of even length palindromes then odd length palindromes and finally we find the longest among these all so i have already made a video on manacas algorithm the video is linked down in the description below you can check it out and i'll make a separate video based on dynamic programming so for time being let's continue with this video which is based on the third approach the right side of the screen shows the algorithm where we have a function called longest palindromic substring whose arguments is the string s and there are two for loops one is for calculating the length of odd length palindromes and the other is for even length palindromes we declare few variables namely lps length which is the length of the longest palindromic substring and we initialize it to zero we also create a string lps and initialize it with an empty string and n represents the length of the string which is 8 so we begin our algorithm by traversing the array from mid is equal to 0 to mid is less than n so initially mid points to 0 and at each traversal we again traverse from i is equal to 0 and check for the condition whether mid minus i is greater than or equal to 0 since the value of mid is equal to 0 as well as the value of i is also 0 therefore 0 is equal to 0 as well as mid plus i is less than n that is 0 is less than n so we enter the for loop and check for the condition whether if s of mid minus i is not equal to s of mid plus i since s of 0 is equal to s of 0 therefore we continue and we calculate the value of length as 2 into i plus 1 which is 1 and we check whether if the value of length is greater than lps length since 1 is greater than 0 therefore we update the value of lps length as length as well as we we update the value of the string lps as the substring of s from mid minus i up to length locations so we have updated the value of lps as a and then we increment i now i points to 1 and the value of mid minus i is minus 1 which is not greater than or equal to 0 therefore we exit the for loop and increment the value of mid so now mid points to 1 and i points to 0 and as we can see that mid minus i is 1 minus 0 which is greater than 0 as well as mid plus i is 1 which is less than n so we enter the for loop check whether if s of mid minus i is not equal to s of mid plus i that is we check whether if s of 1 is equal to s of 1 therefore we continue further and calculate the value of length as 2 into i plus 1 which is 1 again we check whether if length is greater than lps of length since 1 is not greater than 1 therefore we don't update the value of lps length as well as the string lps and increment i now i points to 1 so the value mid minus i is 0 which is equal to 0 as well as it is less than n therefore we check for the condition whether if s of mid minus i is not equal to s of mid plus i that is we check the left and the right side since s of 0 is equal to s of 2 therefore we do not break and continue further and calculate the value of length as 3 so this time length value is greater than lps length therefore we update the value of lps length as 3 as well as the string lps is equal to the substring a a a and now again we increment i so as we can see that the value mid minus i here is 1 minus 2 which is minus 
therefore it is not greater than or equal to 0 so we exit the for loop and increment mid now min mid points to the location 2 and i as well as i points to 0 so now again we check whether if s of mid minus i is not equal to s of mid plus i which is true therefore we calculate the value of length again as 1 which is that particular single character so the value of length is not greater than LPS length so we increment the value of i now i points to 1 we check whether if s of 1 is not equal to s of 3 since both are equal therefore we continue further calculate the value of length as 3 since the value of length is not greater than LPS length so we increment i again now as we can see that mid minus i is 0 which is equal to 0 as well as it, it is less than n therefore we check whether if s of 0 is equal to s of 4 since a is not equal to b therefore we break out of the inner for loop and update the value of mid as mid plus plus in the outer for loop so now i points to 0 again we check whether if mid minus i is 3 minus 0 is 3 which is greater than 0 as well as 3 plus 0 is also 3 which is less than n so we check whether if s of mid minus i is, is not equal to s of mid plus i so we check here for a single character a which is equal to itself so we calculate the value of length as 1 and the length value is not greater than LPS length so we increment i again here we check whether if s of 2 is equal to s of 4 since a is not equal to b therefore again we break out of the for loop and increment the value of mid in the outer for loop now as we can see that mid points to 4 and i points to 0 first we check for the single character and then we check the left and the right side of that particular character since a is not equal to b therefore again we break out of the inner for loop and now mid points to 5 so the process continues further until we reach the end of the string so finally the value of mid is 8 which is not less than n therefore we exit the first for loop and the updated values of LPS length is 3 and the value of LPS is AAA. So we start with a second for loop which is for even length palindromes. So initially mid points to 0 and i points to 1 and we check for the condition mid minus i plus 1 is greater than 0. Since the value of mid is 0 and the value of i is 1 therefore we get 0 minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 which is equal to 0 therefore we check whether if mid minus i plus 1 is not equal to s of mid plus i so s of 0 is equal to s of 1 therefore we continue and calculate the value of length as 2 into i which is 2 and this length value is not greater than LPS length therefore we don't update the value of LPS length and continue further and increment i now i points to 2 and this time we check whether if mid minus i plus 1 which is 0 minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 is not greater than or equal to 0 therefore we exit the inner for loop and update the value of mid as mid plus plus in the outer for loop now mid points to 1 or the second character which is a and similarly now again i points to 1 we check whether if s of 1 is not equal to s of 2 but since these two characters are equal we calculate the value of length as 2 again since th this is not greater than LPS length therefore we don't update its value and increment i now the value of mid minus i plus 1 is 1 minus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 0 since it, it is equal to 0 therefore we enter the for loop check whether if the left side and the right side of both those elements are equal since s of 0 is equal to s of 3 therefore we update the value of length as 4 and since the value of length is greater than LPS length therefore we update the value of LPS length as 4 as well as the value of the string LPS as 4 is 
now i point to 3 and the value of mid minus i plus 1 is 1 minus 3 plus 1 which is minus 1 which is not greater than or equal to 0 therefore we exit the inner for loop and update the value of mid in the outer for loop now mid points to the location 2 and i points to 1 again we check whether if s of 2 is equal to s of 3 since both these are equal therefore we update the value of length as 2 since 2 is not greater than 4 therefore we continue further and increment the value of i now again mid minus i plus 1 is 1 so we check the left and right side of these two values that is we check whether if s of 1 is equal to s of 4 since both these values are different therefore we break out of the inner for loop and again increment mid so now mid points to 4 and this time we check whether if s of 4 is equal to s of 5 since both these values are equal we calculate the value of length as 2 which is not greater than LPS length so we update the value of i as i++ plus plus. again we check whether if s of 3 is equal to s of 6 yes both these are equal therefore we calculate the value of length as 4 this is also not greater than the value of LPS length so we continue further and the i value points to 3 and this time we check whether if s of 2 is equal to s of 7 since both these values are equal we calculate the value of length as 6 since the length value is greater than LPS length therefore we update the value of LPS length as 6 and the substring will be the substring of s from mid minus i plus 1 that is from the location 2 up to length that is from location 2 to 7 so the updated value of the string LPS will be a a b b a a and we continue this process until mid reaches the value n minus 1 so now mid points to 7 which is not less than n minus 1 therefore we exit the second for loop and we return the value of the string LPS which is a a b b a a so now let's have a look at our actual code in the main function we first accept a string s and then we call the function LPS with the argument as a string s and then we store the return value in another string namely palindrome and then we output that particular string so as we have seen in the explanation part in the function LPS we first declare few variables namely LPS length and initialize it to 0 as well as we declare a string LPS as empty string and n is the size of the string then we have two for loops one for calculating the length of odd length palindromes and another for calculating the length of even length palindromes and finally we return the string LPS so we can compile a code now the code is compiled so we can submit it and it got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations thank you